Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. What we'll be doing today is uh, doing some preventative maintenance for a very prevalent issue on this Audi A6 C6 gens, namely the steering lock. The steering lock issue that I'm talking about can manifest itself spontaneously. There is no real way of predicting when it's going to happen. It just does. And what it is, is basically you park somewhere, it doesn't matter if you parked for a minute, for a day, for whatever long time. Next time you go back in the car, you put the key in the ignition, go to turn it, it doesn't turn, and you also notice that the steering is locked. That can be a lot of trouble if you have left the steering turned all the way left or right. There are several ways to fix the steering lock issue. The first way and the right way is to remove the steering lock itself and simply replace it with another one. The thing with that is steering locks are quite expensive and there is a very good chance that you, if you are buying used at least, you won't be able to find one that matches your car completely and you will need to get that coded in, which costs money as well. Now the second thing that you can do is they sell these kits online. You can simply desolder and then resolder new micro switches and uh, a relay, which are basically the components that fail in the original steering lock. And the third option, which I'm going to show you right now, is the easiest option. It costs absolutely zero money in terms of materials that you're going to need. The only thing is that you'll be left with the steering always unlocked. I don't know if this is going to be an issue for some, for others. For me personally, it's not an issue. I, I can live with the steering being unlocked all the time. So it doesn't really matter for me. So this is why I'm going to go this route. So my car in particular, for now at least everything has worked fine. I have never had issues with the steering lock, but I really don't want to risk it. So I'm going to do this preventative maintenance and get it resolved. Now, if you have already experienced the issue and your steering is now locked, so it's currently locked, you will need to unlock it first before doing what I'm about to show you. If you do it now while the steering is locked, you won't be able to unlock it later. So it doesn't really, it won't really help you. What you need to do is get a scan tool with VCDS and unlock the steering wheel. So clear all the fault codes, get the steering unlocked, and then you can do what I'm about to show you now. First thing that you need to do is remove this panel right here. You can put in a pry tool or a screwdriver like this, just pry it out, and then put your hands and you can see it now, it's off. With a panel removed, you need to remove a fastener here, this one, I have already removed it, and then there are two more fasteners that are also 8 mils, like this one, and these are located right here, I've already removed it, and identically on the other side, right there, also 8 mil. This is how the fasteners look, they're all the same size, so it doesn't really matter which one you put where. With the fasteners removed, you'll need to pry on this piece right here and just swing it down. You don't need to remove it completely. And here now you can see the steering lock. This is it. This big piece right here. Now you see here the connector for the steering lock and there are three wires coming from it. A brown wire, a red wire with a blue stripe and a red wire with a black stripe. What you need to do is cut or deep in the wire that is with the red and black. So the red wire with the black stripe. However, you need to do that only when the steering wheel is unlocked. As you can see, 
my steering wheel is now locked so I'm not going to cut the wires right now what I need to do is disengage the lock first and only then cut the wire so I'm going to do that now and I'm, show, I'm going to show you what to do next so I want to show you the procedure in real time now you can see the wires they're all intact nothing has been cut yet everything is looking good I've here pre pulled this wire up I've prepared it for the cutting so now you can see the steering is locked I'm going to take my key put it here in the ignition turn it to position 1 you can see the steering wheel is now unlocked taking the side cutters I'm going to cut the wire now the wire is cut you can see it right here the red and black wires are split so now what you can do is the car off take the key out and you can see now the steering wheel is not going to get locked anymore so it's going to stay unlocked all the time for some it may be an issue for me personally I think it's the best way to get this uh, this steering lock problem preventatively resolved at no expense at all I hope this video was helpful to you and uh, that I've uh, I've helped you save some money in preventing an issue that can be quite frustrating especially when it happens in a more isolated place if you like the video give it a thumbs up consider subscribing for more content like this and uh, if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below thanks for watching guys see you in the next one